Hey there, tech fans. Today I'd like to show you some of the accessories you can use with the DJI Power 500 and the DJI Power 1000. Now, one of the unique features that both of these portable power stations provide is a thing called a software-defined port. It's a charging port that can charge DC to DC to external devices, but it can also be used to add energy to the power stations through certain adapters. And I'm gonna show you five of those adapters today that allow you to do things like charge your drone batteries, use accessories that you would normally plug into your car, or a couple other cool things. So basically there are two styles of adapters that can be used with both of these portable power stations, adapters that provide power outside of the unit to charge things, or adapters that can provide power into the unit to actually charge the unit. And I'll start off with the charging side first. So there are two adapters available right here. Both of them have this software-defined charging connector on the end of it, which can plug into the software-defined charging port on the front of the power station itself. So this is the Power 1000. You've got two of those software-defined charging ports there, and you've got a single one on the Power 500. These two charging accessories start off with the MPPT external. Now what this allows you to do is to connect up a solar panel to the unit. And on the back, you'll find three connections right here that allow you to plug in three solar panels at the same time. Those are standard accessory connectors for a solar panel and a software-defined connection right here. So you can plug that directly into one of the software-defined charging ports on the front, connect your solar panels up to the unit. And what this device does essentially is when you have a solar panel, let me unplug this. When you have a solar panel, you can't really guarantee that you're gonna get the same amount of energy all the time because the sun is changing its intensity, there are clouds going in front of it, the sun's moving in the sky, so you're gonna get varying degrees of energy generated by those solar panels. Because remember, the way they work is they'll drink in the sunlight, they'll produce a given amount of current out of that solar panel, which is DC, and that has to be regulated. So a circuit like this, the MPPT circuit, is actually responsible for taking that varying voltage and current, smoothing it out, so to speak, and converting it into voltage and current that can actually charge the internal batteries. And again, what's unique about the software-defined charging ports is that they're intelligent ports that recognize these external accessories and adjust accordingly. So the minute you plug this accessory in, which is the solar panel adapter, that software-defined port knows that you've plugged that in, it's ready to accept current from a solar panel, and it's also adjusting the way it accepts that current to flatter the batteries internally. So this is great if you're out there on a lot of camping trips and you want to take one of these power stations along. This MPPT adapter, again, allows you to plug in three solar panels to the unit and charge the Power 1000 or the Power 500 through that software-defined charging port. Another accessory you can use for charging this power station, either of these, is the DC kit for your car. So you've got another software-defined connection here, which again plugs into the units. And on the other end, you've got a standard car port right here. This will plug into your adapter in the car. We used to call it a cigarette light adapter. Now it's just a DC power adapter. But you'll plug this into your car, plug this into either one of these power stations, and you can charge these directly from your car. Now you might be wondering why this big brick is here in the center. Well, the truth is, you've got to regulate that 12 volts DC as well. So what this brick does is it tells this power station that you're plugging in a 12 volt adapter and it's a 12 volt charging adapter so it knows to accept the current from that and allow that to be passed on to the batteries. And you can disconnect this as well so there's a connector right there. But essentially this allows you to charge it in your car. And I've used that quite a bit. And the one thing I will caution you about with that 12 volt car charger adapter is that it's gonna draw current from your battery. So if you're out camping, and you plug it in and you go off fishing for a couple of hours and come back, it's drinking electrons out of your car battery, which means you may have a problem starting your car. So my suggestion is, I only use this when I'm driving between locations. So if I've got maybe the Power 500 in the back seat and I wanna to top it off before I get to my next location, I'll use this when my car is running, when I'm driving, because I've got the alternator in the car that's generating DC to charge, trickle charge my battery and run my accessories. And that way I know I'm not gonna run my battery down. So just be aware of that. Okay, so those are two charging options you can use to charge both of these units, again, in your car or from a solar panel. Now, once you have the unit charged and you're out there in the field, what can you use it for? Well, both of these have AC ports on the front that you can plug things into. They have a collection of USB ports as well, a USB-A that's got 24 watts per port, and they've got a USB-C connection that'll provide up to 100 watts of charging power. So anything you want to charge that's a portable device that can charge through USB-A or USB-C, just plug them in directly on the front.
The one thing I will mention about the USB ports or USB-C ports is that they're power delivery ports, which means they're intelligent. So whatever you plug into it, if it's power delivery uh, compatible, that port's smart enough to check that voltage and current that device needs to charge it quickly. And the unit can adjust its voltage and current accordingly to quickly and safely charge that device. Those USB-C ports are incredibly powerful as well. They're 100 watts each. That's a lot of power coming out of a USB-C port. Most portable power stations on the market, you're lucky if you get 30 watts, 45 watts, maybe you're gonna get 60 watts, but having two ports on these at 100 watts each means those ports can charge things like laptops, larger tablets, portable game consoles. You can charge your drone batteries from them. But the challenge with USB ports is they have a limited amount of current that comes out of those ports. And the reason the software-defined ports are more powerful is because of the intelligence built into those uh, software-defined charging ports. Now, if you're gonna charge external devices, a really basic adapter is this one, which allows you to plug this into a software-defined port and it provides another DC port, just like in your car. So if you've got accessories you would normally plug into your dashboard in your car, you can plug this on one of the solar uh, power stations here and actually use this to charge that 12 volt device. So this is handy. I use this quite a bit in my car because I have a lot of car chargers I'm using out in the field and that allows me to plug it in and, and charge those devices. The two that I really like though are the ones I use for my drone batteries. Now I fly the Mavic 3, I fly the Air 3, I fly a bunch of drones, but those two are my favorite drones that I take out in the field with me all the time. And using the USB hub, even the 100 watt hub on a USB-C port like this, could take quite a while to charge those batteries. Depending on how depleted they are before I start the charge cycle, it might take me up to an hour, an hour and a half in some cases to charge those batteries because they're really big batteries. I mean, here's the Air 3 and here's the Mavic 3. So these are gigantic batteries. And the challenge with USB is that it can't really deliver the current at speed to charge these quicker than a standard USB would charge it. So even at 100 watts, again, maybe an hour, hour and a half to charge these fully. The beauty of the SDC port is that the adapter, once it plugs in, it immediately knows that I'm plugging in an adapter, in this case, for the Mavic 3 battery. And the intelligence in the base of this says, hey, I'm plugging in a Mavic 3 battery. Make sure when I plug the battery in that the intelligence in the power station checks the current voltage and current level of the battery and makes the adjustment to charge it quickly. Now, why can this port charge it faster than the USB port? Well, for starters, it's a DC to DC charging, which is the most efficient. If you've got an EV, when you go to one of those uh, high performance charging stations at your local convenience store, when you plug that EV in, it's gonna charge incredibly quickly because it's DC to DC. It's a very similar thing to what's going on here. What happens when you bring it home? Well, you're charging it off of AC, which takes a lot longer. Even if you have a converter in your home, you can't possibly charge it as quick. What you've got here is that high speed connection, just like those high performance chargers at your convenience store to charge the battery. So when I plug the battery in here, it immediately checks the battery to see what the charge level is currently, and it makes whatever adjustments are needed to quickly charge that battery. Now, I've been using these for, gee, six months at this point, and I can tell you out in the field when I'm flying the Mavic 3, I can put the drone up, I can charge a battery. While I'm flying that drone, that battery's charging. And if I get 35 minutes, 30 minutes out of a battery and land it, because I like to leave a little in there so I'm not panicking, um, I can pop the battery out of that base, put it in the drone, put it back up in the air, and pretty much fly continuously as long as it's not a really hot day. And that's another concern. When you're charging drone batteries and you've been flying for a while, they're gonna be warm. Don't take them right out of the drone and put them in a charger. You wanna give them some time to cool down because the battery technology inside these really doesn't like to be charged when they're hot. And when you're flying, you're drawing electrons out of the battery, it's gonna heat up a little bit. You wanna give it some time to cool down a little bit. And if it's a really hot day, you might wanna put it back in the car and turn the air conditioning on a little bit to give it some time to cool down. But anyway, back to the battery. So that's the Mavic 3. There's also an adapter for the Air 3, which plugs into the end of the battery like this. And again, I can plug it into the software-defined port over here. And the minute I do, the intelligence in the base of this and the intelligence in the uh, power station talk to each other. A handshake takes place technologically. And this now knows I'm charging a Mavic, 3, or Mavic Air 3 battery. And it's saying, oh my gosh, uh, it only needs a certain amount of current and voltage. So let me adjust that and quickly and safely charge that battery. So you can see this thing is charging really quickly and this battery is charging incredi incredibly quickly as well. And again, what I like about this is that I have a lot of other power stations I take out in the field with me and they do an okay job for AC and DC and even USB, but I'm using standard voltages and current, which I'm kind of charging at home as well. With these two, what DJI did that was really, really brilliant 
was they built in this software defined charging port, which is the only portable power station on the market today that I've seen that has one of those SDC ports. And then they came out with very specific adapters that flatter what you're trying to charge or give you different ways to charge the power station. So this whole setup, this whole ecosystem really is a clever way to provide portable energy, any unit that's portable, you can take it out in the field with you, but not only give you the standard AC, DC, and USB, but give you these incredibly smart software-defined charging ports that allow you to quickly and safely charge your external devices. And in most cases, the batteries for your drone are gonna charge so much faster on these two portable power stations than anything else out there on the market. They even charge faster from these power stations than they do when I plug them into a charger at home, and that's pretty incredible. So that's all I really had for today. Those are the five accessories that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. They all work great. They're all reasonably priced. They're incredibly easy to use, and they're rock solid, just like you'd expect from DJI. So hopefully you found this review helpful. Thanks an awful lot for watching. Mm -hmm.